Today we'll be cleaning carburetor in 1996 Polaris Scrambler 400 and a lot of these carburetors are going to be the same on the Sportsman, uh, the Magnum, the uh, Express and the Explorer. This is a two-stroke model four-wheeler um, so we've got your oil system as well but what, what we have here is the carburetor is off the four-wheeler already we've got the throttle cable that comes in from the top so obviously the carburetor is off we had to remove this cap um, already it's spring loaded so be careful when you open it up and generally if you're pulling the throttle cable off um, you will have you obviously have the throttle cable all the way running through here right in the middle of that spring so this will be hooked up and then also when you're pulling that cap off pulling the throttle cable out your slide and your needle will come out as well and then to remove your um, your throttle cable coming out of the bottom here you can see there there's a keeper here and I'll remove that um, in a second but there is where your throttle cable sits there down in that groove so to remove that you just kind of tip that carburetor you can push on that needle and it, it, sl it slips this um, keeper off of there and it sits down in that groove but it slips that keeper off of there and so you can pull that throttle cable then out um, just got to shift it over to that uh, opening there so we've got a needle here that is adjustable and we've got a little plastic washer that goes underneath of that, that snap ring there. So just want to make sure if you're adjusting your needle uh, at all, you want to make sure you've got that plastic, uh, uh, plastic washer in there uh, to get a correct height there. This looks like it's clear. Um, second, second slot down, um, look at your specs to see where you're where you need to be, but then also performance of your four-wheeler. If you've got exhaust or intake, dip right in different altitudes, cold weather, stuff like that, you can adjust that needle to um, where you need to be at. So we've got the top cap off there. Um, we've got the idle screw here. Now what this idle screw does, you, a lot of times it's finger tight. If I had that slide in there, you'd be able to see it. If you're, by turning it in, you're adjusting your idle up. What that's doing is pushing that slide up, and it goes this way here, pushing that slide up, allowing more air, uh, pu pushing more fuel through. So uh, just by simply adjusting this idle screw here, you wanna make sure your four-wheeler is uh, warmed up before you adjust any idle at all. And you wanna make sure that um, uh, it, it's fully warm, otherwise you won't get a, you'll, you'll end up having to adjust it again shortly after. Now to pull this bottom bowl off here, we've got a Phillips screwdriver. This is your bottom, uh, bowl cap here and you a lot of times uh, if you're draining your fuel for the year you can remove this cap all that fuel will drain out the bottom obviously shut the fuel off on your uh, petcock so you're not draining your your whole tank of fuel um, but you um, can drain it out this way and also if you've got some debris in there sometimes I'll take care of the problem a lot of times it's best to pull this uh, bottom bowl off completely that way you can see everything and clean it really well so you want to make sure um, that you've got a vent line coming off of this bottom nipple here so that you don't have fuel dumping on your motor while you're riding if you're if you're jumping your four-wheeler or going across some bumpy terrain fuel will come out that bottom nipple there and you want to make sure you've got a vent so you're not dumping that fuel right on top of your motor it'll discolor your mo motor um, it'll take off any paint that's on there you just want to make sure that 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 hose is on there so got your bottom bowl here here is your um, your floats here one on either side you make sure you've got these caps on here uh, so that these floats don't come completely off this tab here or this nipple here is when your four-wheeler is bouncing around fuel will drip out that bottom which is why I said when you're riding it or putting it in the trailer uh, fuel will occasionally to come out the bottom of the carburetor all that is is fuel sloshing around in here and fuel coming out this bottom nipple here. So you want to make sure that you got this good and clean before going back together. Spray it with carbon choke cleaner. I prefer the Gum Out brand, um, and it uh, cleans up really well. Spray it with compressed air, and and the bowl is clean. If you need to soak it um, in some fuel or some some car carbon choke cleaner overnight or for a couple hours, that a lot of times will do a good job as well. So to remove. Um, your main jet here, we've got a six millimeter wrench and you just put that wrench on there, take it off. You wanna make sure that you've got this brass washer 
the right direction and make sure that it's there. Your needle coming from the bottom here that I showed you from the beginning over here will sit right down inside of uh, this main jet holder area and allowing the fuel to go in and out of that main jet area. So you want to make sure that you have the right size jet as well. So this this bottom washer here, um, I mean, you put it put it together the same way you take it apart. But if you can see that which direction it is, it doesn't sit down into this washer. It sits on top, and then right like that. We've got your pilot jet here, and that's down in there a ways, and it's a flat screwdriver as well. You can go ahead. Uh, it is a flat screwdriver. You go ahead and. Um, make sure that you're on there tight before you start turning it. If you're not, you could potentially strip that out and then it is very difficult. A lot of times just replace your carburetor at that point. Make sure you can see this when you hold it up to, pull up to light. Make sure you can see through it and that's when you know it's good and clean. If you can't see light, you've got problems. But that's a very small port there and a lot of times if your four wheeler is hard to start, it's because of your pilot jet. Those, those um, become uh, plugged up very easily. Now, this next next step that I'm going to do, you want to be very careful that you don't damage anything when you're doing this. And and if these needles aren't coming out really well, um, what I what I can do is you can take a pick, take a pick, and then something small. You don't need a big hammer. Set that pick right there and tap on it. You don't want to hit very hard at all. If you've got a small pair of uh, side dikes, you can sometimes slide it in there and get underneath of this tab here to pull it out. Um, they were in my other toolbox, so I just did it that way. I want to be very careful because if you break these tabs off, uh, you'll be replacing your carburetor. So we've got your needle and seat here. The needle and seat on this one is um, replaceable. We've got your needle here. You want to make sure there's no grooving, make sure there's no wear. You want to look down inside there, make sure that this is round and not squared off, not oval. Make sure there's nothing down in there as well. You can adjust your needle height by this tab here. Raise and lower it slightly if you need to. It's not a good thing to do to adjust your needle height when you're, you're just needing to replace your needle and seat. That's going to throw your settings off. You want to replace your needle, or you want to adjust your needle height if you're having too much fuel constantly dumping out your bottom tab here, uh, a lot of times that needle may be set, um, may not be set quite right. So just slightly move that tab um, to adjust that height. So you can also, like I said, replace this too if it gets grooved or cupped at all. So we'll go back together with this, slide that needle down. It doesn't need to be any direction is fine. That um, center pin here is lined up right in the center, uh, so it doesn't matter which way you want to put it on that um, piece here. So then go ahead, put that back in. I'm going to make sure this is completely seated before going back together, otherwise your bowl won't sit on there properly. Put your main jet on there, make sure that you've got it tightened up. You don't need to over tighten these. You've got brass fittings going into aluminum, and if you do over tighten, it'll damage those and make it um, a challenge to get apart the next time. Obviously your carburetor is sitting like this, so if you don't have them tight enough, they'll work its way out um, pretty quickly and you will think you didn't do a very good job cleaning your carburetor. So go ahead and put the pilot jet back in there, snug it up, and we are ready to put this uh, bowl back on. Make sure that there's no excessive grooving here. Make sure these tabs are where they need to be so that your float's allowing enough fuel to come in there. So make sure that's seated properly. Make sure that gasket is good. No breaks in there. No, no major wear. Um, a lot of times, when, when well, every time when you uh, buy a gasket kit, that a uh, carb rebuild kit, that gasket will come with it. So go ahead and tighten these screws back up. And again, we don't need to over tighten them. You've got that gasket. You're gonna seal that off good, and just make it a challenge the next time you need a carb clean. If you over tighten these, you can use vice grips on them if, if they're just not coming out. Uh, it's not ideal because you damage screws at that point, but if you're needing some last resorts, you can use vice grips. So snug these up. Alright, and then we'll put your um, 
needle back in there and we don't have the choke and plunger on this one um, but it would go right down in here so this because we don't have the throttle cable we'll just kind of put this all together make sure that your o-ring in here is good that's sealed up good this slide will only go on one direction so you may have to move it around a little bit to find that direction make sure your needle goes all the way down um, sometimes they get caught up on this in the middle there and it'll push your needle clear up and uh, that doesn't work either so you got aluminum cap here so just be careful putting them back together you get it on straight when you're you're tightening it up here's your fuel inlet here so you want to make sure that your fuel line from your tank or from your fuel pump goes into there I guess from your fuel tank on this model so that is cleaning the carburetor on a Polaris Scrambler 400.